Praise God. Praise God. house, God. We just come to lift up the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Somebody ought to just bless the Lord on today. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will do what? Rejoice, Rejoice and, and be glad. Be glad and praise Him. Praise Him. Amen. Praise Him. He is worthy, Thank worthy, Lord. worthy Thank to be Lord. praised. Amen. Our scripture this morning will come from Psalms number 137, which is our theme scripture, verses 1 through 4. Verse 4 is our theme scripture. It reads as follows. It says, By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down. Yea, we wept when we remembered Zion. We hanged our harps upon the willows in the midst thereof. For there that they that carried us away captive required of us a song. And they that wasted us required of us mirth. Sing, sing us one of the songs of Zion. How shall we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? heads in prayer. Dear most gracious Father, we thank you, Father, for another day that was a promise to us, Father. We thank you, Father, for bringing us to the house of the Lord, Father, and bringing us, Father, for another no choir day, Father. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for all your many blessings, Father. We thank you, Father, for everything you have done, because there's so much going on in this world, Father. Father, just praying, Father, for our families, Father, our church family, Father. So much is going on, Father, but we know you got it. Like my sister, you got You got this, God. And we know, Father, you will bring us through this, Father, one more time, Father. And we just love you for us, Father. We pray for our pastor, Father. Thank you for our pastor, Father. The angel of this church, Father. He keeps us going, Father. Thank you for the first lady, Father, and their family, Father. And just praying for our family, Father. And just thank you, Father, praying for all of all of this need that's that covered, Father. Oh, Father, they are suffering, Father. Some have lost their loved ones, Father. But, Father, we know you got it, Father. You got this, Father. We know you got this, Father. And, Father, we praying for us to remember 9 11 yesterday, Father. We won't forget that, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, to all those families that, that, they, have this, that they celebrate yesterday, Father. That we are remembering, Father. We will remember them, Father, for the rest of our life, Father. And Father, we're just praying for the floods and Ida, all the floods, Father, people that lost their homes and 
families this far, and thank you. St. Louis, far, just all over this thing. You know what's going on, Father. I'm just saying, Father. And thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We're glad to see Miss McCoy today, yes. Father. Thank you, Father, for bringing her back to St. Mark, Father. Thank you, yes. Father, for her family, Father. You brought Roger to it, Father. You're healing him, Father. You got to hear the power, Father. We know you got to hear the power, and you will heal. You can heal, Father. You got it. You got it, Father. We know you will heal, Father. We just thank you, Father, for so much. Thank you for our families, Father. Can't thank you enough. I'm praying for my son, Corey, Father, because he needs your prayers right now, Father. He needs you, Father. He is so down, Father. You know what's going on with him, Father. I don't have to say it, Father, but cry, Father. Protect him, Father. Put a feel of protection around him. Just protect him, Father. Just cover him, Father. Keep him covered, Father. I love you. I praise you, Father, in all these many things in your name. Thanks. Amen. Amen. But we're still going on. Amen. And as I look out, I see her here today. All right. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Uh, McCoy. Amen. Amen. Okay. It says, uh, Amen. Okay. Good morning and welcome to our annual choir day, our theme, singing our songs in a strange land. When the Jews was captured in Babylon, they were told to sing of their songs of Zion in a strange land. Feeling this would be an abomination to God, they asked, how can we sing Zion songs in a strange land? Like the Jews, we too are captive in this strange land, a land that we have never known before. But we vow to sing Zion songs in this strange land, despite the pandemic keeping us from doing church as we once did, despite the great loss of loved ones, despite the social injustice, we will sing our songs in this strange land, and we will lift every praise to God, because our God deserves all, all of our praise and more. And as uh, one of our faithful members that's gone on, Gene Foxworth, will say, God got this.
Amen, amen. The psalmist said, Bless the Lord, O my soul, all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Amen, amen. Thank you, choir. Thank you for such a job. Great done. And we're just grateful for uh, what God has allowed uh, this day. And uh, we're just looking forward to uh, even more blessings. We're certainly uh, grateful and want to acknowledge, it, as it has already been, we want to acknowledge Dr. Janice Valley White McCoy. She's here with us this morning. Thank God for her who has uh, been a blessing uh, to this church. Uh, for years and years and years, amen, and uh, has been a blessing in the uh, music department and all, and we're certainly grateful uh, to see her uh, here this morning, I, uh, amen, thank God for her. We want to uh, be blessed uh, today to uh, hear one who is uh, multi-gifted, uh, amen, one who is no stranger uh, here to the St. Mark uh, Baptist Church. Uh, he's uh, been around a long time, and uh, God has uh, blessed him and used him uh, in a mighty way. You know, I, uh, I tell you, uh, I, I, I went up to him this morning, and uh, I hope because of my size I put a little fear in him because... <laughs> I told him, I said, remember, this church has a pastor. Amen. Uh, he's, he's one of those fellows, if he can't get you singing, he'll get you playing. And if he can't get you playing, he'll get you preaching. And, and I, I can't play, and I can't sing. <laughs> amen, amen. I am so, I am so glad for uh, Reverend DeMond. Newman being here with us today. Uh, he's a blessing to the body of Christ. And I say that uh, in all sincerity. I, uh, we were uh, talking about a choir day and uh, they had said something to me. And, uh, you know, you're talking about uh, singing songs in a strange land. Uh, we are in some very strange times now. Uh, these are times that... Uh, uh, we've never witnessed before. There are those who may be here, may have gone through uh, panic or some type of a depression or whatever, uh, but these are some strange times uh, for the most of us, and these are some uh, scary times. Yeah. But uh, we know with God to help, yeah. we can do all things through him who strengthen us. Yeah. Amen. And uh, we are blessed today, and we're going to uh, give over to uh, Reverend uh, 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 Demond, and uh, he he may want to sing uh, before. He might want to sing after. We just let him uh, let the Lord uh, use him. Uh, he's a uh, very gifted and talented uh, individual, and uh, we love him, and we we appreciate him uh, to the highest. And uh, I know you're going to be blessed. Uh, to hear him uh, proclaim the word uh, to us uh, here uh, today. Uh, thank you. At the end, uh, we do, I want, I have a couple of people that uh, have asked uh, that we pray for, and I want to have just a special time of prayer uh, at the end of the service. And I would that you just join in with me. Just, just pray. Uh, you know, God, uh, he's able to do exceedingly abundantly more than we can think or ask. Uh, you know, when the, uh, I was thinking just the other day, even the Roderick McCoy, uh, if you look at him, even on the Facebook, if you look at him, uh, years ago, Dr. Gardner Calvin Taylor said about Dr. E.K. Bailey, he said, when you see Dr. E.K. Bailey, you see a God can do person. Mm -hmm. In other words, you can see what God can do. Yes, sir to and through an individual. And when we look at Roderick McCoy, and uh, if you followed alone and seen him, even when he was on oxygen and on the vent and everything, and you look at him now, you can say he's a God-can-do person. That, that's what God...
can do. God, God is able to do exceedingly abundantly more than we can even ask or think. Oh, God, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank God for all of our ministers, uh, Minister Nikki, uh, Reverend Hampton, Reverend uh, Bill. Just thank God for all of us uh, being here today. I think deacons and all, uh, thank you so very much. We're just going to give you into the hands of uh, Reverend Newman. He'll come in his own way, uh, the way he wants to do it. And uh, we just bless God for him. Pray for him. Pray with him. And uh, as our president of the state convention says, while you're praying for him, while you're praying for me, wouldn't hurt to pray for yourself. Amen. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. I really love the Lord. done for me he gave me the victory I love him I love him I really love Anybody love him today? I really love the Lord. I really love the Lord. You don't know what. Done for me, he gave me the victory. I love him, I love him. Oh, I really love the Lord because he knows my name. knows my name he knows my name he knows my name and this is the part I plan about oh how he walks with me Oh, how he talks with me. Oh, how he tells me. I am your. Oh, oh, how he walks with me. Oh, how he talks with me. Oh, how he tells me. I am your own. I'm going to make this personal. Oh, how you walk with me. Oh, how you talk with me oh how you tell me I am your own he knows my name he knows my name
knows my name. He knows my name. Oh, how you comfort me. Oh, how you counsel me. It's so amazing that I am your friend. Oh, 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 how you walk with me. Oh, how you talk with me. Oh, how you I'll point to yourself and say, oh, how you walk with me. Oh, how you, come on. Oh, how you talk with me. Oh, how you talk with me. Oh, how you tell me I am your own. Come on, sing it one more time. Oh, how, oh, how you, come on, come on. Oh, how you talk with me. Oh, how you, oh, how you tell me. I am your own. Amen. Let's give the Lord a hand praise. Are you glad that he knows your name? Amen. I'm glad not only do I know his name, but the difference, Pastor Crawley, is that he knows mine. Amen. Let's give the Lord a hand praise. He is worthy to be praised. Amen. We thank God for today. Thank God for this opportunity. Uh, when Pastor Craw Craw Crosley called me, I started calling folk. I was excited to go back home. Amen. Amen. I've been around here for a long time. <laughs> a long time. This is the first church I've been at. Amen. Singing up under Dr. McCoy. Amen. Amen. And uh, Reverend, I go back to Reverend Nichols. Amen. 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 So I've been around here a long time, but I tell everybody this is home and that's my pastor too. Amen. Amen. So we thank God for just being here. Thank God for each and every one of you. Pastor Hampton, it's so good to see you, Pops. That's, that's daddy. And anytime you go sit in anybody's house and eat like I eat when I go over there. Amen. Amen. They deserve that respect. Amen. Amen. Sister Hampton, good to see you. Amen. My mama is here. Amen. Amen. I didn't know who, to, who my auntie was at first with, with that mask on, but she's so cute this morning. My Aunt Charlotte. Amen. Amen. And that's my auntie. Longer than it's been your nanny. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. My brother Tavala is here, Sister Hill, Sister Crossley. It's just good to see each and every one of you. I don't want to get in trouble. Amen. My other mama back there, Glodine. Amen. 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 I spent many, 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 many days over at that house, her and Red, and I let Jeremy and Maurice get the whoopings, and I acted like the innocent one. Amen. Amen. But we thank God for this opportunity. Amen. These are some strange times. They, they are some strange times. And uh, these times will make you question, uh, God, where are you? Amen. I, I listened to you last Sunday, Pastor Crosley. They, they will make you question, God, where are you? And you know, have you ever been a time in your life that God um, seems so far away, and then 
when he does show up, you don't want to really ask. You don't. You're not really glad at that moment um, that God showed up. You want to ask God sometime where you been. I, 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 these bills been due. I've been sick in my body. God, where have you been? Come on, be real. Amen. And and in your in your uh, in your in your text for your um, theme. I read it. It's very familiar. That's where the children of Israel were. They were held captive. Amen. They were locked up. And this, this captive was different because it was for a long time. And, and in that, they asked, how, how, how are we supposed to sing? How, how are we supposed to praise? How are we supposed to produce in this land when it's so strange? And you may be asking yourself this question this morning. And sometimes you don't ask how. Sometimes you just ask, what do we do while we're going through? Amen. And Psalms 150, the 150th number of songs. Amen. Very familiar passage of scripture. The 150th number of Psalms. When you have it, uh, just say amen. Amen. The 150th number of songs. Amen. Most of y'all shouldn't even have to um, even look it up. You know that scripture. You know that scripture. The 150th number of songs. Amen. And my, my uh, you know, this technology stuff acting up. Amen. Praise the Lord anyway. Amen. The 150th number of songs. All right. It says, praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and harp. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with the string instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Let everything that had breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, God. We love you. We appreciate you for everything you've done. We thank you for who you are. We thank you that your presence is here with us right now. God, I ask God that you bring back to my remembrance the things, God, that you gave me to share with your people. Hide me behind the cross that they see less of me, more of you. Give them a listening ear to hear what you have to say and a heart to receive. In Jesus' name, amen. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Just for a few moments, we're going to talk about it takes all that. Tell somebody it takes all that. You didn't tell the right person. Tell somebody else it takes all that. If you've experienced the Lord on a personal level, seeing God do things you felt were impossible, it is clear to me that it is impossible for us not to praise God. Uh, the word praise means to speak well of or adoration. And it's important to take note of this because when you look back over your life and see all the things that God has done for you, all the things that God has brought you out of, all the times that God has healed your body, all the times that God has made a way out of no way, you have to be convinced that God is worthy to be praised. When you estimate the worth of someone, it's always based on credibility. Somebody say credibility. Based on a certain amount of experiences you have with the person, they gain credibility. Therefore, they're deemed worthy of another chance. 
And the truth of the matter is today, St. Mark, that we know God's credit is good with us because we tried him over and over and over again. Therefore, we have found God credible and found him worthy of the praise. And it is our expression of praise that often comes in conflict with others that don't quite understand the magnitude of what God has done for us. It is impossible not to praise God and not be demonstrative or not expressive that others may see how God has worked in our lives. When you don't mind being expressive, when you don't mind showing an out-of-the-box praise, when you don't mind being undignified, people may begin to look at you funny and say, it don't take all that. Let, let, let me bring this closer to home to you. When you go to the football game and you're surrounded by hundreds of people, a player makes a touchdown. We don't mind jumping up, yelling, and screaming because we appreciate the player making the touchdown for our team. When you go to a concert, yeah, 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 go to a concert. The, the person on the stage, y'all may have back in the day met, met to Michael Jackson or whoever, but when you go to the concert, you waving, you screaming, and you're dancing because you appreciate what that person is doing on the stage. Let me, let me take it on back for you. You know, just a few days ago, when y'all used to go to the party, sitting in your corner, being cool, calm, and collect, minding your own business, you had your drink in your hand, then what happens? Then what happens? The DJ plays your song. You put your drink down, you go to the middle of the dance floor, you don't even need a dance partner because that's my song. And I come to tell you this morning that if you can be expressive at the football game, if you can be that expressive at the concert, if you can be that expressive in the club, you can, you can give God all the praise that he's to do. Because guess what? You had to pay to get in all those places. But since you've been saved, Jesus paid it all for you. You ought to lift up your hands, throw your head back, and say, God is worthy of the praise. When you think about where you should have been, when you think about how things could have turned out, when you think about the things that God has brought you out of that you got yourself in, yes, it takes all that. And I wonder, do I have anybody in here that will praise God no matter how folk look at you? See, I made up in my mind, Pastor Hampton, that folk go talk anyway. And God has been too good to me to sit on my blessed assurance like he ain't done nothing. I made up in my mind that excuse me if I get too loud, pardon me if I'm disturbing this part of the service, but God has been too good to me. I just can't tell it all. This song, this song is a very, very powerful song. And it's broken into three parts. It helps us, Pastor Crossley, understand what God should be praised for. It tells us how God should be praised. And number three, it tells us who must praise him. These songs, they're songs, and they come out of Israel's history. And they culminate with praise. Praise is a powerful weapon and when people have been the recipient of a blessing from the Lord they understand that God is to be praised all the way through the song Psalm 146 they say praise the Lord 147 praise the Lord 148 praise the Lord 149 praise the Lord and Psalms 150 declares, praise ye the Lord. 
And I want you to understand that you've got to have the right attitude if you're going to praise God. Somebody shout attitude. If your attitude is wrong, you'll reject the admonition of praising God. No less than 13 times in this psalm we hear praise the Lord. And it's interesting because the psalmist suggests praise ye the Lord, period. This is not a suggestion. It's not up for negotiation. But this is a commandment. Doesn't matter how you feel about it. Don't matter what's going on in your life. Don't matter where people, whether you feel like it or not. God says, I command you to praise me. But see, it all depends upon your mindset. If your mind isn't right, you will not praise the Lord. The Bible says, praise God in the sanctuary and in the firmament of his power. Now, let's look at that. Now, we're not talking about the four walls of this building. We're talking about the invisible sanctuary. Well, where is the invisible sanctuary? I'm glad you asked. The text says it's in the firmament of his power. Well, what is firmament? Well, it is a space. Basically, the psalmist is saying that wherever you think about the goodness of Jesus, and everything that he's done for you, that right there becomes your sanctuary. Wherever you are and you recognize God working in your life, that right there becomes your sanctuary. In other words, you can have sanctuary in your home. You can have sanctuary on your job. You can have sanctuary riding around in your car. Wherever your mind wanders back to the goodness of Jesus, that becomes your sanctuary. See, we've got to understand. We've got to understand that the devil is trying to attack your mind because he knows that your psychology can affect your theology. You kissed it on the way home. He knows that if he can keep your mind off the goodness of Jesus, that will keep you from praising God. We have to keep our mind together. Watch this. If you go back to Psalms 22, David had a moment where he was tripping. Yeah, he had a moment there. He was tripping. He was going through a whole bunch of stuff. He sound kind of like us. COVID hit, we start tripping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We Our money get funny, we start tripping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get sick in our body, we, we start tripping. Yeah, yeah, we do. That's why the devil is trying to take your mind. If you go back to Psalm 22, read it, read it later, but it's in the text. David was tripping. He was talking, he was talking about the stuff he's going through with. God, where are you? Why have you forsaken us? How, did you feel like that during this COVID stuff? God, what is going on here? God, don't you see what's going on? Don't you see what's going on in the world? Don't you see that my loved ones are dying? Don't you see all these people are unemployed? God, where are you at? Don't you see what's going on here? That's what David was telling me. He said, about, David said, now you won't even answer my prayer. Have you ever been like that? Did you got down on your knees and God ain't said nothing? God ain't said a word. You've been praying and praying for a long time. God ain't said nothing. But watch this. After David tripped, David's memory started going back. He said, but wait a minute. God, you inhabit. <laughs> you inhabit the praises of Israel. You inhabit the praises of your people. So wait a minute. Instead of tripping, maybe I ought to start trying to praise you. And do you know what the word inhabit means, don't you? That means that's where he is enthroned. That, we, that means that's where he dwells. So it, David said, well, instead of me complaining, instead of me tripping out, maybe if I need you to come see about me, I'll start praising you. I'll start giving you glory. I'll start giving you honor. 
Let me tell you something. All you need is a memory. Somebody shout memory. The psalmist said, praise him for his mighty acts and for his excellent greatness. This is interesting to me also because the psalmist is saying that all you have to do to violence is remember his acts or his actions. Actions deal with what God has already done. How has God acted in your life? Now, according means as a result of or how God has demonstrated himself in your life. Now watch this. The magnitude of the act ought to reflect the magnitude of the praise. If God ain't done nothing for you, well, don't act like it. But I believe I got about five people that has a memory of how God has acted in your life. How God healed your body. How God made a way. How God opened the door. How God blessed your family. Is there anybody in here that has a memory of how God has acted in your life? Even that, that's why, you know, God has done so many good things for us. That's why it's a wonder why we trip. Because, you know, the same God that brought you out before can do it again. I, I used to wonder, I used to wonder how when we were praising God in church, some folk went overboard. Yeah, yeah. The music stopped. Everybody else can calm down. The ushers then fan the spirit out of the other folk. But you still had a couple. You still had a couple. You still had some folk in the corner. I, I remember back and when I was little at St. Mark, we go home and mock her every Sunday. But Sister Tweeter. Everybody else can stop shouting, Pastor Crosley. Sister Tweedle, even on her walker, she's still shouting. She's still praising God. And I used to wonder, why, now, come on now, y'all sit down, it's time to go. But watch this. Sister Tweedle and some of them other folks were praising God according to his excellent greatness in their life. Yeah. See, that's the reason some folk are still shouting past the cross when, when everybody else is done. It's, that's because of how God has acted in their life. See, you don't know what they've been through. You don't know what God brought them out of. You don't know the ways God made for them. You don't know how many nights they had to cry. You don't know how many tears, tears they shed, even going into the bathroom at work. You don't know what they've been through. But that's the reason some folk still got to put some praise on it. So he tells us also who must praise him. The last verse of that, and I'm almost through. He said, let everything. He said, let everything. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. It said, let everything that has breath. Praise the Lord. He said, let everybody that has breath praise the Lord. You'll catch it in a minute. He said, let everybody in St. Mark that had breath praise the Lord. He said, let everybody, I woke up this morning. If you have breath, praise the Lord. 
He said, let everybody that I've been good to, that have breath, praise the Lord. Let everybody that I delivered out of anything that have breath, praise the Lord. Ah, uh, let everybody praise the Lord. Has he made a way for you? Has he opened doors for you? The songwriter said it like this, praise is what I do. When I want to be close to you, I lift my hands in praise. He said praise is who I am. I'm going to praise him while I can. I'll bless him at all times. I vow to praise him through the good and the bad. I'll praise him whether I'm happy, whether I'm happy or sad. I'll praise him in all that I go through because praise is what I do. Praise is what I do. Even when I'm going through, my praise outweighs all the bad. No, my circumstance. It doesn't even stand a chance because my praise outweighs the bad. I vow to praise you through the good and the bad. I praise you whether I'm happy, whether I'm happy or sad. I praise you in all that I go through because praise is what I do. Do you want to know how to get through when you're going through? Learn to give God some praise. The psalmist said it like this. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Even when I'm going through, my soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. Ain't he all right? Ain't he all right? Has he been good? He's been good. He's been good. That's why I praise him. Because he's been good. I also praise him because he's been better to me than I can be to myself. Ain't he all right? Is there anybody here? Do you need a reason that you ought to praise him right now? Number one, he woke you up this morning, started you on your way. Number two, he woke you up this morning, started you on your way. Number three, he woke you up this morning, started you on your way. Let everything that has breath Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. And the Lord is worthy. Listen. He's worthy regardless of your circumstance. Our circumstance does not predicate his worthiness. I'm going to say that again. Our circumstance does not predicate how good he is and if he's worthy to be praised. See, Satan had it right with some of us when he was talking to, jo talking to the Lord concerning Job. He said, do men praise you for not... Satan, it, it was just like this. He said, God, them folks don't just praise you for nothing. 
They don't praise you till you give them something. You, you ain't worthy of all you think you're worthy of. But that's how we treat God. And, and we, wonder, we wonder why we feel so down and bad when we're going through. And that's because we, for, we magnify our problems. Instead of magnifying the God who is able, hallelujah, to deliver us out of them all. So throughout this, you wonder how, and you know, the children of Israel should have known it already. Because every time they start, they got in trouble and they start lifting God's name, he ran to their rescue. That's why David said that he inhabits the praises of Israel. So I dare you to try it. Forget about what's going on. Take your precautions, but don't worry about COVID. There's a difference in being precautious and actually worrying. And, and some of you, we, we use in COVID for an excuse not to do now. I, I said it. I got folk, I got folk in my choir, go everywhere else but sitting at the house on Sunday. Amen. But we need to take this opportunity that no matter what's going on, we need to take this opportunity to show a world that we serve a risen Savior. He's in this world today. I know that he is living. No matter what folk may say. I feel his hand of mercy. I hear his voice of cheer. You ask me how I know he lives. He lives within my heart. The world is confused now about our devotion to God, we say he can do. We say he can fix it. We say he can heal. We say that he can deliver. But what does it look like to the world? We have so many convictions about God. What does it look like to the world when we tripping right along with them? With them? We're supposed to be an example. That's why I made up in my mind I don't care what's going on. I don't care what I'm going through. I don't care the situation I'm in. I'm going to lift him up. I'm going to glorify him. Nikki, he's been too good to me. Mama Glow, he's been too good to me. Let me tell you something. I probably shouldn't be standing here today, but he's been good. The devil thought he'd give me a heart attack and take me out, but he's been good. He said, you gonna be on all them pills for the rest of your life. I ain't on one of them right now. He's been good. And so when I look back on what he's already done, I, I don't worry about what's to come. Because I know if he brought me out before, oh, hallelujah, he'll do it again. How many know he'll do it again? Yes, he will. I'm confident of this one thing, that he that begun a good work in me, he shall perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. And maybe there's somebody here that don't, don't know him. Or if you know him, this stuff that's going on got you confused. It's okay. We all have moments that we just don't know what's going on. Don't let nobody make you feel like that we don't have, we're not human and we can't trip out every now and then. But the problem... The thing about it is we can't stay there. We can't stay there. Hook up with somebody 
that'll pray for you. They ain't got to lay hands on you. We laying hands is just an example because God does the reaching anyway. But maybe there's somebody here. You've been discouraged. You're finding hard to praise God because there's so much stuff going on. I, I just, I, I need some help. Anybody need some help every now and then? Every now and then, we just need some help. Man. Life gets so tough sometimes. And life will throw you some stuff you've seen other people go through. But sometimes God allows some things in your life so you can have your own testimony. So maybe that's you today and you, you just need, you need some prayer. We're just asking you, close your eyes right now. Close your eyes right now. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, God. We love you. God, you're such a good God. You've been better to us, God, than we could ever be to ourselves. We thank you, God, for being a comforter. We thank you, God, for being a way maker. We thank you, God, for being a deliverer. God, we thank you for your son, Jesus, who died on the cross for our sins, who was wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes. We're here. We thank you for Jesus. God, these are uncertain times. These are perilous times, God, that we've never seen before. God, I'm asking God that you touch every mind, God. Even, one, even the ones watching, God, we ask that you touch their minds. God, we ask that you encourage their hearts. God, knowing there is nothing too hard for you. There's nothing too hard for you. If you could raise Lazarus from the dead, there's nothing too hard for you. We thank you, God, that our troubles, God, won't last always. God, send your Holy Spirit, God, to remind us, to give us a memory of who you are and what you've already done. God, lift us up on every side. God, we ask God that your Holy Spirit, God, push us to praise you. Even when we don't feel like it. Even when our trials seem too hard for us to bear. God, we just want to have a praise. God, we want to be like the sea of saints used to say. If we can't even say nothing if we're so, we can't say nothing. God, give us a wave in our hands. God, give us a thank you in our spirit. God, we thank you. We thank you for this pastor. We thank you for St. Mark, God. We thank you for these years, God. We ask God that even during the pandemic, God, we're asking God that you just continue to push them in the direction that you have them to be. Bless every member. Bless everyone that will come through that door. That they may see Jesus when they walk in. We thank you, God. We love you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's give the Lord a hand. Mr. Newburn. Amen. Amen. Uh, he extended an invitation here in the place and there may be someone who wants to trust the Lord in this place, and then there may be someone who's listening to us uh, this morning over the Facebook, and uh, you might uh, feel that urge to come to the Lord and to trust Him. Uh, you can just let us know on the Facebook page, and we'll reach out to you. Uh, we thank God. Uh, 
last uh, Sunday, my uh, niece was on uh, in Oklahoma, and uh, I thank God she uh, she sent an offering to the church uh, through my cash app, and I don't know what uh, Pastor Newman just said, but he reminded me of that, so my wife, we got to write a check uh, to uh, put that in there. Uh, thank God uh, for all of us who are here, you know. He just did a profound job today. Amen. We want to, you know, I was thinking about, he was talking about uh, Sister Tweedon. You know, service over, the music doesn't stop. She's still going. And I've seen people do that. Everything stopped. I mean, even the benediction has been given. And you hear people hollering out, yeah. glory. Yeah. Service over. Don't tell, don't tell them that. Yeah. They holler out even more. God is good. God is good. We thank God for all of our ministers. And Tabala, he's one of ours. Amen. Appreciate him uh, being here. I want us to pray. Uh, I don't know if uh, Tiffany Harris, who lives in Texas, I don't know if Tiffany is on line this morning, but uh, I talked with her last week, and I'm glad because I want her to hear this. Tiffany told me that uh, they were talking about caregiving for, she said, but Pastor Crosby, I want to pray for healing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for healing. And God can. He can. He's done it before. He can do it again. And so I want to I want to pray for Tiffany. I want you to join in with me today. Those on Facebook listening to us, join in with me. I'm going to ask the Ballas to come and lead us in prayer. But we we want to pray for healing. My executive assistant, Sister Patricia Blake, going through a rough time right now. We want to lift her up. She has a disease that she's been dealing with for years. But I believe God can heal. As a matter of fact, I, I called her this morning and prayed for her, and she was on her way to the emergency room then. God is good, and he can do it. There are people who has gone through and and has not even gone through as much as Roderick went through. But look what God has done. We've got to believe God. Yes, these are some strange times. God is able. He is able. And I want us to begin to just pray right where we are. I want Brother Tobias to come and to pray. But I want us to just agree together and begin to just pray. Brother Newbin says that it was said to God, those people just serving you because of what you do for them and what you give to them. Even Satan said that. A 
about Job. And when skin worms was coming out of his body, pus oozing out. His wife said, curse God and die. You talk as one of the foolish women. The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Whatever way it goes, blessed be the name. I'm talking about praise. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Why don't you just agree with us today? Patricia Blake. Tiffany Harris. I want to include Demarcus' nephew, Joey. Goes through excruciating headaches. Dear most gracious God, in your word you said you are a present help in times of trouble. You also tell us don't get weary in well-doing, because in due season. God, we don't understand what's going on now, but we do know that when we're down to nothing, that you're up to something. So God, we don't have to know what's going on or when it's going to be over. But you are our why, God, that we'll praise you in spite of. Because you've been God way longer than we've been ourselves. Before you formed us in our mother's womb, you was healing the land and healing people. And the best that we can think is the least that you can do. Let the best day of our past be the worst day of our future. God, we know that you can work a work like never before. While we are confused about what's going on, it's just your plan and your will. And sometimes your will is not our way. But our thoughts are not the same because we're merely men and you're a miracle worker. So God, what we're going to do is just give it all to you. All situations in life, we're gonna give to you. Finances, we're gonna give to you because we know you're faithful. God, we're gonna give health and, and, and issues to you because we know that you're a healer. People who are grieving and going through, we know that God, you are a comforter, Lord. I think sometimes we don't give you the credit that you just do. A man who, a God that can wake up everybody sim simultaneously, Lord. God, the ones who the pastor mentioned that we want to bless them especially, Lord. God, we want you to wow them and wow the doctors that they're not smart enough to do what you can do. They're not intelligent enough. I want you to confuse them to know, like, it must be God. So we can't take the credit for it, God, and we know that it's you. What would be great in this situation through this pandemic is that uh, Pastor DeMond said that we would praise, Lord. This is not a time to be cute and to be cool. But it's for us to pour out our, our, cast our cares upon you so you can work a work like never before. Like I said, God, we're not intelligent enough. But God, you are eclectic enough to get us and ed be edified and glorified, Lord. 
God, we thank you and we praise you, Lord. God, we've asked where you are, but we, but the answer is you've always been there, Lord. Nothing surprises you, God, because you're I'm not present, God. But it says until his people will humble themselves, Lord, and seek your face. So we're waiting on you, but realistically, God, you're waiting on us. We're waiting. He, you're waiting for the church to be the church that he's calling for. He's waiting for us to praise our way through so people can see through us. God, we love you. Even though we act like we don't sometimes, but we love you, God. But we have got to lean and depend on you. And some just says our cup runneth over. The problem is we're not, we're not asking for enough, God. We're not believing in you enough. We're asking for just enough, but when you're a God of more than enough. We're putting you in a box, God, and letting, instead of letting you give all your power and all your praise and display it, Lord. God, we love you and we need you. But God, we thank you. I started this praise that you are a present help in times of trouble. So when it gets the worst, God performs at his best. God, we're giving it all to you. We're casting our cares on you today. And once we give it to it, we need to take our hands off of it. Because we think we're helping out and we'll get in the way. God, we thank you and we love you. So this morning we decree, God, that it's already done. The things when we don't even know what to ask for, it's already done. You're going to do it like no one else can do it, Lord. God, we thank you in advance. And if everyone would praise him like he's already done it. If everyone would praise him like he's done it better than we can even expect. You've exceeded and abundant more than we can even ask or think. Praise him this morning. Everybody give him a hallelujah this morning for what he's going to do. Lord, we thank you, we praise you, and you love you. And this is your this is my prayer, your darling son Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank Pastor Newbin for a great word today. He reminded me a few minutes ago and he was preaching and Deborah, you will remember Elder Jane Paris, who used to pastor the Elect Temple Church of God in Christ in Benton, who had emphysema, who couldn't hardly walk up these steps but could preach for an hour and a half. Don't tell me what God can't do. He can do it. He said, I, I, I didn't have breath when I first got up here. He said, it may come back tomorrow, but it's gone now. Hallelujah. Did y'all hear Newbern's testimony. I remember when he had that heart problem. He said he's, they said he was gonna be on pills the rest of his life. Good to see you, Sister Hattie. God bless you. God bless. God bless. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. God, as we prepare to leave this place, but never from your presence, we thank you right now. We praise you, oh God. We praise you for a fresh breath of your anointing. God, you breathed in this place today. God, we say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Hallelujah. God, we told Tiffany we were going to pray today. God, we want to be true to our word. Hallelujah. 
told Sister Blake we were going to be praying. God, we want to be true to our word. God, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the word. Thank you for the word. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Again, if there's anyone who wants us to reach out to them, you can just hit us up on Facebook. We'll certainly be glad to get in touch with you. Amen, amen. We'll let uh, Pastor Newbin in his own way just do the benediction. Or we just uh, thank God for him. A great word, great word, great word. Amen. God bless you. Amen. We thank, again thank God for you. We thank God for this opportunity again. Pastor Crossley, we thank God for you. Amen. Good to be home. Good to see each and every one of you. Amen. I done said all I got to say. And y'all know what to do when you're ready to go. All right. I was going to say turn with me to... <laughs> God, again, we thank you for the service. We thank you for your spirit being in this place. God, we just ask, God, that what we've done, God, be pleasing in your sight. God, let us leave here, God, encouraged to continue to praise you through everything we're dealing with, through everything we're going through. God, we ask, God, that you continue to bless this church, St. Mark, God, that there be the church you're calling for in these last and evil days. Dismiss us from this place, but not from your presence. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.